Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to another uh, video of my series uh, of race predictions. This time as you can see it's uh, the spa francorchamps circuit in Belgium. And um, I had to experiment with the difficulty levels a lot. Eau Rouge, Radion, the bus stop chicane. Iconic turn names and an iconic circuit. History lives here at spa francorchamps at the Belgium Grand Prix. Spa-Francorchamps today, a circuit that spans 4.35 miles. There are tons of elevation changes along the way too. 19 corners making up this circuit, with nine of those to the right and the remaining 10 to the left. This track's a great one for fans of pure speed, and the average lap speed comes close to a whopping 145 miles per hour. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Hamilton, Russell, Sainz, Norris, Hulkenberg, Fernando Alonso, Oscar Piastri, Gasly, Ricardo, Albon, Ocon, Sargent, Bottas. Stroll, Magnussen, Sonoda, and Joe Guan Yu. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. And alongside me here today in the commentary box, Anthony Davidson. I know what we've got to do before the start of today's race, but what about our driver? What do the final hours look like for them? Well, for them, you know, you've got your pre-race rituals that you go through. You see different drivers uh, that, you know, some have got their headphones on, they're listening to the music. Some drivers really absorb the energy from the crowd and they're there waving to them. Other drivers, they go within themselves. They chat to their engineers, absorbing that information, that vital information that you need to carry you through the race. I have raised the difficulty level quite a few points. Okay. Uh, to make it more realistic and now enjoy the race. Front wing is going to need replacing if it takes too much damage.
Okay, gap to the car in front, 2.3 seconds. Back euphoric as always. <laughs> so this was quite a difficult race. Um, I think also because the Haas isn't too strong. And obviously because I raised the difficulty level. out to the flag at the end, and their race victory was never in doubt, was it? Brilliant stuff by them. Um, next time I might race with another uh, team because I think are on route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everybody at the team. Because I think other teams have uh, have better engine zones. And maybe also to make it a little more different. So stay 
stay tuned uh, and see what team I will choose next. Maybe uh, I'll choose Hülkenberg and Haas again. Uh, uh, maybe even already in the next race, but it might be another with team. That, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport action, but with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. All right, I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, let's see if the results are a little more in accordance to reality. The race is in a few days. So, yeah, let's see. And uh, see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.